What's up, you guys? Neighbors doing uh, lawn work. It's a post office guy. As soon as I start recording, the whole world just comes alive. <laughs> uh, so uh, this video is gonna be all over the place. I've done two hunts this week. Been kind of busy, so I, it wasn't one continuous hunt. I did go to Emerald City Comics, one of my favorite places in the West Coast. Uh, it's the only place where I can find hot toys in the West Coast. And I did pick something up. You will see that in a minute. I'm here in Miami. I'm gonna start working on my studio. I'm gonna do, I'm thinking of doing two to three videos as I go setting up the studio and then give you guys a room tour as like the third or fourth video, depending on how it goes. I brought the last of my hot toys to Miami so I could get that done. I'm gonna try to spend the next few days just working on that. I hope you guys can hear me over that lawnmower. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Like, do your lawn in the morning like everybody else that wakes me up back at Fort Myers. All right, uh, let me show you my truck real quick. So that's the last of it. Uh, I got more on the other side here. I'm not gonna show you everything now. I'll show it to you in a minute. When I get everything upstairs, you'll see everything. It's getting closer. <laughs> I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at Emerald City and I'll see you back in the studio. All right, you guys, I'm here at Emerald City Comics. I saw some posts they did on Instagram where they got a bunch of new hot toys. Well, not new, but new to them. You know what I mean. And it's overwhelming. Here, check this out. I was here less than a month ago, I want to say, and none of these were there. I mean, they got a lot of hot toys in in the past month. Huh. Thank God I have most of these. <laughs> uh, there's more behind me. Check that out. They even got a Hulkbuster. I think that Daredevil, the Netflix Daredevil was here last time I was here. It's a dope piece. Wouldn't mind having that, but don't need it right now. Hmm. Okay, so this is not all of it. Let me show you the rest. Hold on. Check this out. That's a lot of hot toys. Oh, I just noticed one that I need. Well, I don't need, but I would like to have. This is a maybe. I might be going home with me today. I'm not sure. I haven't seen everything yet. That Ghost Rider I like, but. Hmm. That Drex, this Drex is going for like 600 bucks now. I saw it at Dragon Con. Didn't know it was going for that much. The Worthy Captain, I already have that one. Some DC up there. That Bane is dope. I'm not currently doing DC, but if I was, that's one I'll definitely pick up. And let's check out the Star Wars section real quick. A lot of dope pieces. Got a Boba Fett. Good on that though. Actually, I would like to see that one really quick. I think that's almost identical to the one I have now. I'm not sure. But yeah, a lot of cool pieces. This is another one that surprised me. I saw this guy at Dragon Con for about 500. I had no idea it was going for that much. I can see why, to be honest with you, out of all the troopers I have, the Remnant Trooper is my favorite. I love the way that thing looks. Uh, the rest of the Star Wars section, I think, was all here before. Still gonna show it to you anyways. I can't remember if all of these were here, but yeah, there's still quite a bit left to see. They still have a heavy Mando and the OG Mando. Two of my favorite. Actually, this one, I don't remember seeing last time I was here. It's a pretty cool set. All right, um, that Han Solo and Chewbacca 2 pack is pretty dope. I don't really need that right now though. I'm trying to stay away from Star Wars. I think I'm just going to do Mandalorian and not do as much of Star Wars because, man, if you do Star Wars, see like Marvel, yeah, there's a lot of hot toys for Marvel, but I'm almost done. I only need a few pieces. 
and I'm done with the Marvel Universe. But Star Wars it never ends. Just too many characters. That Gamorrean guard is dope. I remember uh, George was really eyeing that one last time over here. Can't blame him, that's a dope piece. I would like to have that. And yes, I know I just said I'm not gonna do Star Wars as much anymore. And I said I was gonna buy it, I just said I would like to have it. It's cool, somebody wanted to give it to me, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else I got. Oh boy, check this out. I didn't even know this was out yet. They've got a rescue. What? Oh man. Die test. We also have this clone trooper. That thing's dope too. I picked this guy up at Dragon Con. I was dying to get my hands on that. Kind of like this. For all you horror fans, I got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Michael Myers. Oh, here's something I might need. I started working on The Walking Dead. So far, I only got Rick Grimes. I was hoping to find Michonne, but... Hmm. There's a possibility, too. All right, so so far there's like three or four possibilities <laughs> and I can't take them all, so I gotta choose. I got some thinking to do. Okay, I wanna take a look at a few of these and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes. It started pouring. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's loud in here. I'm gonna see if uh, they'll let me open up this Iron Man real quick. I can find somebody. I'll be right back. Alright you guys, here's the Mark III. Man, this thing is pretty dope. They told me I could take it off if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna go through all that. Just wanted to take a quick look before I decide on what I'm getting. Right now, this is the main contender only because this would drastically improve my Iron Man display. This piece would make a difference more so than the rescue i think and uh i've never seen this one in person the rescue is brand new i'm pretty sure i could still find it so i'm not in a hurry to grab that even though i, I am planning on buying it i'll be back all right you guys so you guys saw what i picked up at emerald city i'm going to show you a hunt that i did with seth and Humpty uh, two days ago. Just got all the stuff out of my truck. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I had in there. If you guys saw the video where I emptied out my storage unit, this is the stuff that didn't fit or the stuff that I've bought since that video dropped. So let me show you real quick, hold on. So these are all the six scale figures that I didn't show you in that video. I actually picked this one up from David, Dark Collectibles when I was in Atlanta for Dragon Con. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff here. Just more down there. Some helmets, uh, yeah, just just a mess over there. I don't even want to show you guys <laughs> the mess I got going on. These are the ones I think you saw in the last video. A lot of them are blocked because there's actually two rows of hot toys. I don't even know how many hot toys I got to the truth. I have to count it, but I was gonna take a guess. Definitely more than 70, maybe 72, 73, somewhere around there. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the hunt that I did with Seth and Humpty at Bits and Buttons and at Tate's. I did pick up a new hot toy while I was there in the place you would least expect. So yeah, check that out. Dino. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's Dino. That's Humpty's puppy. He's only four months old. Guy's gonna be huge. So if you can't tell, we're here at Bits and Buttons, and by we, it's me, Humpty, and Seth. He's back there. You'll see him in a minute. Hey, what's up, Humpty? Hey, what's going on? Humpty's in the house. Seth is in the house. Yo! <laughs> Dominic, of course. We're in his shop, so he's in the house. Yo! <laughs> he's got the quarter scale turtles loose. All the accessories are back there. In that Ziploc bag. It sucks when stuff comes in on, on Sunday. These are the only ones he has left. He's trying to sell them as a set, so anybody's interested. For now. They're intact. I love these things. I still got mine in the box. I can't to unbox them. He also has this quarter scale Tonto. This thing's actually pretty dope. 
The fish scope? It's pretty accurate. I like the details on this thing. You know, I don't need it to really fit in with anything that I have. But this is a pretty cool figure. He's asking 60 bucks. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Getting tempted already. Let me put this back down real quick. There's already a few things that I'm eyeing. Well, one big thing and one small thing. I'm going to show it to you now. He's got customers in the front. I don't want to interrupt. As soon as they finish, I'll show you what I'm picking up. While we wait, I want to show you guys this Darth Maul. is pretty dope. First time I see this one in person. Let's open it up real quick. I like this. To be honest with you guys though, I kind of like the box more than anything. Figures dope too though. But that looks pretty nice. I like this. Let's see what Seth is up to. Looking at turtles. Yeah. You want a K you want a Casey Jones 10 back? I already have that one. It's four nine it's four dollars and forty nine cents. Oh so I'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> For that price. Got some of the Super 7 stuff down there. We got he's got a shredder and foot soldiers. There's an OG Geek. Hey. Hey. And a what's popping? Oh, it can't be a normal video if we don't have Inception. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking about picking up those foot soldiers. Oh, what? Do you have? Don't you have one though, or you want more? Uh, no, I, I don't have any. I thought I you had a foot soldier. Two. No, I have oh. everything but the foot soldier, and I don't have a uh, undercover raft either. I need that. Oh, the quarter. Scale. I thought you did. I got the four turtles, and I got oh. Shredder, which is kind of my favorite one. Oh. Here's uh, another race. That undercover raft is one that I really want. I need to find that stuff. one. I don't think they could re release that. I don't think they're going to either. But uh, I'll see it someday. I'll pick it up. Speaking of turtles, he also has this set. I think they're playmates. I'm not really 100% sure. But I kind of like them. He's asking 50 bucks for all four of them. What? Jumping on what? Star Wars figures that he's got. Because. He's got a graded, he's got a graded carbonized Mando for two hundred dollars. Oh, well, you want to give me one? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm, my, birthday, that one. my birthday's you coming see, up. Did you in, see that one? The, the in graded, seven months. You see, <laughs> <laughs> you see that one? The graded, the, yeah. the Captain. Rex? Actually, it looks dope. I like the way that looks. The yeah. box of that. Oh, I didn't even see that. He's got the first edition Mando. Yeah. Oh. Eight hundred bucks. Damn. That's why I don't buy the graded stuff. Damn. Actually, I do have. Some you do. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a few hot toys, bro. That's, yeah, it is. You know, that is a fact, Jack. All right, back to what I was saying. I don't know. I think these are playmates. I'm not sure. I think they're from like 2016. He's asking 50 bucks for the set. I kind of like them though. And they are turtles. Yeah. Mount on the wall. I don't know. I don't think 50 bucks is a bad price. All right, now that there's some space up front, I'm going to show you guys what I'm picking up. You probably won't be expecting this, at least not from Bits and Buttons, but I'm actually picking up a hot toy. <laughs> That's right. Dominic has a few hot toys in the stock, and I really need this one. Here, let me take out the shipper so I can show it to you. A few hot toys. No, you, you gotta what? you gotta say it. You gotta say it, man. What? You gotta do the hot toys call. That's your thing. Uh, nah, hold on, hold on. He, he's just do it. I know this guy. Do I know it. I know him better than he knows himself. Do it. He just wants to do it. No, I don't want you. I don't want me you, to do you it. I don't do want it. me to do it. You I want do you it. to do no, it. No, you do it. No, I don't want to do you it. You do it. It's your call. I don't want to do it. It's your call. Okay. Hot toys. <laughs> Cause then I do it, and then you do a copyright claim on my video, and then that's how friendships, you know. <laughs> Just do it. End. Do it. No, no, no. Now we're not doing it. Now we're not doing it. Goodbye. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Wasting my time. They didn't even do the call. So back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I picked up a hot toy that I really needed. I'm actually gonna start working on my studio this week. I'm hoping to have it finished within the next two weeks, and I'm gonna start with my Iron Man display. So this guy, I can't get it up with one hand. <sighs> Hold on. Well, All right, so there it is. Bro, like I was saying, this is one that I really wanted for my Iron Man display. <laughs> you realize the box opens yeah, so you, you can are. show people. Yeah, no I was showing them the color, you know, one thing at a time. Was, First, <laughs> the box. Well, now the hand model. Ooh. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> this is dope. I'm so excited to have this. 
Yeah. I was actually thinking about ordering this. Yeah, uh, so just like maybe I four days ago. So you know, you know. Now you look, I got it. Like it'll look. The, it'll look. The last it'll place I expected like to find it. Like it'll look nice next to all the other boxes that you have piled up because you still haven't taken any of them out. So you have a nice collection of boxes. You have a nice collection of boxes. I'm gonna start unboxing this week. Nice collection of boxes. <laughs> this guy. No, but for real, I am gonna start uh, working on my displays, the whole studio. Uh, I'm gonna take like a week to work on it. Hopefully, I'll have it done within the next week or two, and then I'll make a few videos to show you guys the progress, and then the room tour. All oh, that's coming, so you guys should stop asking me. When's the room tour? You should start asking him behind me. When's the room tour, Seth? What? When's the room tour? When I feel like it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a room tour before you. I hope you do. That's, I hope you do. You're blocking my register, man. Oh, blocking I'm blocking the money. Hold blocking on. Blocking the money, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm picking this up. This whiplash. Very excited. Yeah, like I, I thought about folks. And uh, let me show you guys the other hot toys he has for sale. I can find them. Hold on. Something. You know what I mean? What are the other hot toys you have for sale? Right here, brother. <laughs> Cindy calls me on her hot toy all the time. Cindy, how much for Dominic? Uh, free. Free? Hey, you heard it. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you got the Iron Man hologram. You got a Hawkeye. Bring it closer. Let me get through. Cause... You know you have a Zoom feature on your camera. Yeah, well. I have to get close to the hot toys. The Black Widow. Well, these I had at these I had at UltraCon or SuperCon. I'm sorry. Well, Black Widow and the Iron Man had a SuperCon, and then the Bruce Banner just came in, and then the Hawkeye just came in. Nice. So, so those are go. never for sale. Poor, poor. Uh, They're for sale, right? No, those the, the ones that are being pointed at the case aren't for sale. But these are for sale. Oh, these are for these sale. These are for sale. Okay. So when the video drops, they may be here, they may not be here. Who knows? All right. We shall see. Yeah, he does have two other hot toys here on display, but they are not for sale. I think I've shown them to you guys before. But just in case I haven't, there's a Darth Vader and that Boba Fett. I think these belong to Alex. They're just on display because this is his new toy room. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys something else that is new to Bits and Buttons. I saw these at UltraCon like two weeks ago. I showed them in my video. These things are pretty dope though. I almost bought a few of them. Now that they're here, I don't know, I might pull the trigger on one or two. That's 35 bucks, that's not bad. Dude, you should have like one of these displayed with the figure so people can see what it looks like. Oh, you've been selling them? Yeah, looks like you've been moving the closer to I'm really tempted to buy a few. Things are dope. But yeah, they're here bits and buttons now, so if you want them, come and get them. It's a floof. It's a big floofy. He's <laughs> so fluffy. It's a big puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for this guy to film his intro. What? Huh? 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 Some say the cucumber tastes better pickled. Okay. Or avocado. <laughs> Avocado <laughs> tastes like fresh. <laughs> All right, do your intro behind the scenes. Oh, okay, okay. All right, guys. So we are here right now outside of Tate's. Uh, we left bits and buttons. We went to get something to eat. I'm getting humped right now by Humpty's dog. So I mean, I guess that's fitting. Um, you know. And uh, yeah, so Mike's doing a little behind the scenes vlogging right now. And uh, we got Dino. Dino power. Dino Mike. And we're walking into Tate's and uh, hopefully they got some uh, new hot toys in because it's been kind of a stalemate lately. All right, his intro was taking too long, so I just cut to us instead of Tate's. <laughs> oh, check this out. These are new. I don't really do the horror 1 6 scale stuff, but I like these. Pretty dope. Anything else new? Anything for Marvel? I think this is the newest one they have. It's not that new though. No, the newest, the newest, the most newest one they have is the uh, anti. Oh, I didn't even see that one. <clears throat> there you go. Not really feeling this one that much at all. Honestly, I prefer this one. I do need this guy, but I don't know if today's gonna be the day I pull the trigger on that Spider-Man. But eventually, I am gonna buy it. This is another one I've been thinking about. This Tony Stark is one that I've been thinking about getting, but I'm not 100% sold on it yet. I don't know. That Spider-Man I am going to pick up eventually. 
Tony Stark. It's a, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. Let's see if they have anything new for Star Wars. Real quick. Anything new? Meh. 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 Let's know. Meh, 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 meh. There's okay. a Lego. Here you go. There's a Lego Imperial shuttle already built. Six hundred dollars. Damn. How much was that originally? I don't know. How much did it tax yeah. you for it building your out, figure? It came out in 2010, so. Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet. It's a big piece. Oh, they still have the child and co-pilot seat. Man, I love that thing. Like, I might do a video just on this statue. I don't know because the statue. It's not... What can I show you? I can't show you the poses. I can't really show you much. I mean... They have it out the box here. I could just be like, look at it. it looks dope. <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I am at least looking forward to unboxing it and displaying it finally. And uh, nothing new for Hot Toys. Let me show you what they got real quick. Oh, these are new. I've seen this before. They're not Hot Toys, that's for sure. But uh, yeah. Not much for Star Wars Hot Toys either. Hmm. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Dino looks disappointed. Yeah, there's no Star Wars Hot Toys. No new ones, anyways. Where'd they all go? What's wrong, buddy? You tired? Huh? He's sick of us. He's like, how the hell you guys do this shit all the time? <laughs> Toy hunting is not his thing. <laughs> Let me show you guys some of the lightsabers I got here. That yeah, Ahsoka Tano lightsaber is pretty dope. I do like that a lot. But, I don't know. I've been buying a lot of lightsabers lately. It's more fun buying them in the lightsaber casino. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I have no idea where Seth went. Oh, speak of the devil. And he shall appear. You ran. Diablo. Mm -hmm. Finally? Nah. Nah? Nah. Nah. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll start. Who would have thought I would buy a hot toy at Bits and Buttons instead I of know, tits? Right? I know. Did you say instead of tits? Tates. Oh, I thought you said tits. Tates, bro. Sorry, Get man. your mind out the gutter. Dude, your Cuban accent sometimes just kind of just throws me for a loop. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Oops, some decorative plates. Just notice this. But I don't see it on display. I don't know. It's like a statue. It's an artist series. I can't get it with one hand. That's what she said. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. You're gonna drop it. It's part of the cake. Oh. Edit that out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Stop filming and help me. This is awesome. This is the <laughs> opening for my video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing that. What a friend. It's so helping me out. He's doing mm, content. <laughs> Friends like you, bro, who needs enemies? <laughs> well, whatever this was, it's broken now. <laughs> we gotta go. You, you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. That's a quotable key, I don't know. <laughs> it's a tap. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's only like 100 bucks. It's 170. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yo, 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 drop that shit, go. <laughs> Thank you, I'm so happy you just gave me the opening for my <laughs> intro for my video. Thank you so much. You see that? He's all about content. He'll sell me out for content. <laughs> I'm gonna go chill with Humpty. Forget him. I prefer to chill with Dino anyways. That's right. That's right, Dino. What's up, buddy? You chewing anything expensive lately? No? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Kawabunga surf buggy. For two hundred and twenty-five dollars. The box looks pretty clean, though. The turtle trike. How much is that? Two hundred. Some transformer stuff. Again, the box is pretty tight, though. It's clean. Turtle stuff. Yes, I am. What do you see, buddy? You sell out. What do you see? Turtle oh. stuff. Well, you're gonna drop that like you dropped I, the Star it's Wars. It's behind figure? glass, if not, then maybe the price will go down if I ruin the box. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, <laughs> bully. I'm not bully. <laughs> 
<laughs> you okay, buddy? Once that bear humped you, you gotta give it to him. Oh no, it's his now. Oh, Dino. Dino want the bear? Dino want the bear? Oh, he's, he, boy, he wants that bear. That's, you better get him that bear, Humpty. Oh. <laughs> Take it to me now. You guys want some good drink? I'm good. Thanks. I'm good. Thanks, bro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> So it looks like the only one that picked up any toys at uh, Tate's was Dino. Yeah, he's gonna destroy that bear. That bear won't make it home. I mean, hey, the good thing is at least he didn't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick you in the beep. All right, we're done at Tate's. We didn't pick anything up. Dino did. He's happy. The weather got really bad. So I think we're going to call it a day for this hunt. So I'll catch up with you guys when I get back to the studio in just a second. And we're back. That's about it, you guys. That's all I have for you for this video. I am going to start working on the room as of right now. So I should have two videos out soon. I don't know if they're going to be back to back or I'm going to take a few days in between when I drop them. But this studio will get done this week and then... The latest two weeks from the day this video drops, which will be either today, Thursday, or tomorrow, Friday, I will have a room tour. I'm also working on something else. I'm working on another YouTube channel. Now, that channel is uh, going to be more towards filmmaking, video cameras, gear, uh, other stuff that I'm into, vlogs. A lot of vlogs, but they're not toy related, so I don't feel like those vlogs will fit in this channel. So I'm making another channel just to do pretty much everything else that I'm into that's not toy related. You guys want to check out that channel. There's nothing up on that channel yet. The first video will drop about a week or two. Give me some time because I still got to finish this before I start working on that new channel. If you guys want to check it out, it will be linked down in the description below. Also, I'm going to link Seth YouTube channel, Bits and Buttons information, and Emerald Cities information. You guys saw anything in this video that you're interested in, give them a call. Let them know I sent you. Cool places, great prices, good people. That's why I go to these places so much. Dominic, the owner of Bits and Buttons, and Alex, awesome dudes. Uh, the people that work at Emerald City, I'm not sure who owns it, but the people that work there, very cool guys. The one that I speak to the most, uh, his name is John, I think. So ask for John if you guys call. Uh, and that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I gotta get to work. If you did, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you're notified when I make more videos like this. And like always, guys, thank you for watching.